Right, so in today's video, I'm just going to show you lightly how to edit and set keyframes in the Insta360 Studio, and this will be on Windows, but it's the same principle if you're on Mac. So first of all, we need to import some 360 files. You can do that straight from your computer, which is the top left icon there. You can either click this button here, which is Open Files, or simply click the Add button here, and then it'll send you straight to the 360 files from your computer. Or in the top left here, you can import them from your micro SD card with a USB cable straight to the PC or we can do it from the cloud service and this one's to highlight your favorites. So now I'm going to locate my video files on my PC and import some and just go through the basics with you. Here we go. So now I've opened my 360 files from my X5 footage on my desktop and as you can see straight away you will get two types of video files for every clip that you record on your 360 camera. You'll have a LRV which is a low resolution file and then you've got your VID, your main video high quality one and this is the one you need to be dragging across to do the editing. So we just want to highlight some clips over here and then click and drag and drop them inside the window here. Then it's just going to load your files for you as quick as that. So the one you want to edit just highlight over it, double left click the mouse and then that will bring that up in the preview section for you, as you can see. So now you're viewing the video file, which is the high resolution one. And if you just hit play, it's going to play as is, just like out of a normal action camera, for instance. But I don't want that shot. I want it in a vlogging style. So I'm just going to pause that. And as it's a 360 camera, we can rotate this up, down, left, right, or basically 360 degrees. I've got that on me there, I can zoom out, zoom in, I can do all sorts, I can basically do anything I want, you've got such a range of flexibility when editing. So if you want that shot right there, you'll just right click the mouse, and that's going to set what they call a keyframe, as you can see down here, we've got that first keyframe. So now when I hit play, the camera's going to be locked on to where you hit that first keyframe, which is now me. And then if I want to spin that camera around, I can just pause the footage. And now I want to spin the camera around I'll go through this, as I go through the archway here. And now I'll hit the second keyframe, right click. So you can see we've got two keyframes set. And now when I revert back to the first, and now I hit play, you'll see that slowly rotating right. Just so you can see that different point of view as I'm walking through this archway. So that's the very basic settings on how to set keyframes with your Insta360 footage there. And now on this particular shot, if you want to get even more creative as I'm approaching the castle here, we can just simply pause it, zoom in a little bit, and now we can right click to hit that third keyframe, and then we can go down to that third keyframe and just left click and then we get some options here so we can set it into a crystal ball this is a fun one the tiny planet which everybody's used to on the 360 cameras just like that so we'll, we'll just stick with that one and then I'll just show you exactly what it's going to do from that first keyframe through to the second and then to that third one so now when I hit play as you can see it's from that first keyframe it's locked on a selfie position we're rotating right as we're walking under the archway <laughs> and now it's going to revolve into the tiny planet when it finally hits the third keyframe. So as you can see that's the very basics on how to set a keyframe within each video file that you upload in the Insta360 Studio. And now I've moved over to this different clip which I've not edited yet. So once again, when I hit play from standard, again it just looks like a normal filming camera. But obviously it's not, and I can rotate this as it's moving to get the shot I need. I'm going down these stairs here. So I've set no keyframes, so at the minute it's just as is, and as you can see it's pointing forward there. And it's not really interesting because it's not focusing on anything at all. So now I'll start it again and let's add some keyframes in there. So 
we'll just drag it back to the beginning. Right, so first of all, let's set the keyframe as it's walking forwards. And then A at play. That's obviously going to be the standard because it's facing forwards. But as I approach these stairs, I might want to spin that camera around. So just as I'm approaching, we'll pause it. And now we'll flip that camera around to me. We'll pull out a little bit. And now I'll hit that second keyframe. So now when I revert back to the first one, you'll see that's going to slowly start panning around towards me just before I get to the top of the stairs there. Again, it's up to you how you edit each clip. But again, it's just for demonstration purposes, this. And now we'll pause it again. I'm going to make sure we can see I'm going to make sure we can see the reveal as I'm coming through these doors. So now I'm going to hit that third keyframe right there. And now as I play from the second to the third, it's going to start rotating once more. If I don't move anything, it's just going to look at the wall in front. So we'll pause it again. We'll flip that round. So when I walk through this doorway, we'll be able to see the castle. There we go. And now on to reveal the castle. So for the fifth keyframe, I'll look up at it there. We'll highlight the fifth keyframe. And now when I play it back, I'm coming through the door. You see that's going to pan slightly diagonal left to look at the castle. As you can see then, it's a smooth transition. And it's going to lock in that position as I'm walking past it. So for the sixth and final one, we'll just get that in shot. And now when I come through the doorway, it's going to look up at that and then slightly rotate once more slowly to reveal all of the castle as I'm walking past there. Preferably you don't want to get yourself in shot, but yet again, this is just a quick demonstration for you. So now as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've got six keyframes set here, which I've just gone through with you. So we'll start at the beginning, and when I play this through, you'll see exactly what the keyframes are used for. So that first one, we're pointing forward, and then it's rotating right to get me in the shot. Now it's going to reveal the stairs as I'm walking down them. And then we want to look through the doorway as we're walking through, which it's doing right now. And then diagonally left, looking up at the castle. And then that sixth and final keyframe, just to reveal it even more, so we can look at it as we're walking past it. Again, preferably don't get yourself in the shot. You could zoom in there on that last one as well. So that was just a quick video today, just to show you how to set those keyframes in the Insta360 Studio today. And now I'll just hit play on this, and this was a time lapse that I set on my tripod. And as you can see, these are really fun because as soon as you hit play, you can see how nice that looks. And these are in 11K, and I can navigate all the way around and set keyframes yet again in a time lapse. So it really looks like a motion lapse there. So as always, do stay tuned to the channel as there's going to be plenty more videos on the horizon especially with showing you how to edit and film with the Insta360 X5. But for now, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and bye for now.